my people. Welcome back. This is Charlie from Pickles Barbecue. Today we're going to be doing chicken. Smoked chicken on the Weber kettle. Chicken gizzards and hearts. Now if you've never had gizzards fried or in gravy or anything else, you're missing out. Now these smoked gizzards and hearts are fantastically good. Super easy to do. I'm going to give a couple of quick to TJ from Culinary Undertaking. He's got a great channel. It's a small little channel. I'll leave his link down below. And then my friend Todd over at Dad Incredible, Barbecue, Beer, and More. So go take a look. Both their links will be down below. And I'll leave some of the ingredients for this down below as well. But follow along for the recipe. Anyhow, let's get rocking. Wow, people. <laughs> All right, all right. So here's our package of chicken gizzards and hearts. And now you can see why this is a good thing. It's cheap as anything. What I'm gonna do is bust these out, maybe trim them up a little bit. You can see some fat in there. Wash them off. We're gonna use real simple spices to begin with. A little bit of cayenne pepper. Use as much or little as you want. Onion powder. Oregano. Salt, pepper, and then we're gonna use some garlic powder as well. So let's get these all started cut up. Here's your gizzard right here. And what this is, is a little pocket on a chicken, a mussel, that uses the grit to bust down some of the grains. So it's like a built-in anatomical grain mill. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw those over here. I'm gonna go ahead and slice these a bit, a little bit right there. Remove some of this connective tissue, but not a whole heck of a lot. There we go, so we got two gizzards right there. And these will tenderize as we go along. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of trimming these, and it shouldn't be more than a couple minutes. Hearts don't need any trimming whatsoever. So those look fine. And then we'll add our spices. Now that we cleaned up everything, we got these trimmed down a little bit. As you can see, I still left a whole bunch of stuff on there, but we did get them trimmed down a little bit. Let's go ahead and season them up. A little bit of fresh cracked pepper. And you just kind of want to eyeball this stuff. I had to guesstimate, that's probably about a teaspoon. And we've got a pound of, we've got about a pound, a little over a pound of uh, gizzards and hearts. Some garlic powder. Some cayenne pepper. Ever <laughs> to kick it up in the hutch. So we've added a little bit of garlic powder. Once again, probably about a teaspoon or so. A little bit of onion powder. Probably all the same amount. Give or take a bit. And then I'm gonna add some oregano as well. This is plain old, plain old dry oregano. About a teaspoon of that. Get all mixed up. Stick it on the rack, put that in the fridge for a little bit. And then we'll stick her out on the smoker. So go ahead and lay this out on our tray. Stick it in the fridge and boom. We'll settle that out in a second or two. We're good to go for the first part. There's our fires so after about 20 minutes on, we're hitting about 250 degrees, which is exactly what we're looking for. Racks in, we're looking good. Look at all that good stuff. So after about an hour, we'll check it. After about two hours, I think we should be good on smoke, smoke color. And then we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. We're gonna throw it back in that tinfoil pan, along with a whole bunch of other good stuff. Let's go take a look. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. So it's been almost an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off, bring them inside. And then we're gonna go ahead and put them in, uh, put them back in the pan with a whole bunch of different good stuff. So we'll meet you right back in. We are back. So the only thing we're gonna do right now, we're gonna set us up a, a little bed to lay the gizzards and hearts on. So you wanna take about half an onion for this amount. Just kind of want to lay it down. 
what we're gonna do is put down some garlic, just rough chopped. Throw that down at the bottom. Rough chop some celery. And we're not gonna use all this stuff afterwards. Celery leaves are a good thing too. They actually taste pretty good. I'll throw our celery down on the bottom. Spread all the stuff out a little bit. Some carrots. Feel free to use whatever kind of vegetables you want to use. Now we'll take our chipotle. This is chipotle pepper and adobo sauce. Some really good stuff. If you have not tried it before, definitely give it a shot. Should be able to go ahead and take one, maybe more out. So we got, oh heck, let's take two. And we want that sauce too, because that's good stuff. Cut that up a little bit. Ooh. Got a squirter. Throw that in the pot. We'll take our chicken broth. So it's about a cup and a half or so. Go ahead and just dump that in. I do kind of want about, about half an inch to an inch on the bottom. So that's about a cup and a half, cup and three quarters, give or take. Let's go ahead and add our gizzards and hearts. These guys are still floating a bit and that's fine. That's what we're looking for. Go ahead and add a little bit more of this sauce too. And boom, there we go, there's two of it. Looking good, so we're we'll going to seal her up, put some tin foil on it, and put it back out on the grill. And boom, there you go, we're back on the grill. The grill's running about 290. You can see where we are as far as coals go. So we're looking mighty fine. It's probably gonna take about, I don't know, a couple hours from here. They are small, so they do quick, cook pretty quickly. So I'll check back in about two hours or so. All right, so we've been about two hours. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's see what we got. Peel this back a little bit. Boy, oh boy. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> that looks fantastic. Vegetables are soft. Gizzards still have a bit of crunch to them. Or if you do like your gizzard soft, which I, I still like a little bit of bite to mine, you can go ahead and pressure cook them or cook them for a little bit. Kind of boil them off for a while uh, before doing this, but let's bring her inside and let it cool down. Have a taste test. Taking out a heart and some gizzards. We're gonna go ahead and cut through these things and give them a try. Time for the taste test. <laughs> the infamous taste test. So we shall see. Hopefully this is my first one. So I cut into that. And as you can see, there's actually a smoke ring on the gizzard. That's juicy. That is super tender too. Mmm. Oh boy, that's good. <laughs> oh boy, that's good. Uh, wow. You got a bit of the smoke. You got a bit of the, the chipotle and adobo sauce. Ooh. Uh, and heart is always one of my favorites. I got a little heart broken in half. So sad. <laughs> Anyhow, this is just a basic snack. Mm. Mm -hmm. Love heart too. <laughs> oh boy. Wow, this is really good. <laughs> so I may go on for more taste tests. 
I know, if, if you haven't had it before, it does sound interesting. However, it's super good stuff. This is the first time I've actually smoked it before. And I'll tell you, this is really good. No joke. Uh, if you like a fried and gravy, go ahead and do that too, but give it a shot. I had a feeling this would work, and at my dad's too, but it did work. Man, it's good stuff. <laughs> Anyways, pickles barbecue. If I can do it, you can too. Pickles out for more taste tests. <laughs> oh boy, that's good. <laughs>